What is up and welcome back to Cajun Tow Boater Reviews. My name is Bo, aka the Cajun Tow Boater. And today is episode 2 of Horror Figure Wednesday. And we will be reviewing the Good Guys Dial Child's Play Chucky Ultimate Action Figure. And I tell you what, these this action figure list grabbing goes from the Good Guy Dial to the dial that starts looking more human, getting more human uh, traits as uh, the movie pro uh, progresses in Child's Play. Uh, and then it goes to um, Child's Play 3 where his face gets cut, uh, gets chopped off and has that head. Um, and then also Bride of Chucky where he's all stitched up, it has that as well. It comes with his... Um, the arm where his hand gets ripped off and he puts a knife uh, in it in Child's Play 2. It has his knife without the that he's usually stabbing with, killing with. It has the voodoo knife, has the good guy's hammer, has a bat. It has two knives and a gun and a yardstick, the one that he uses to kill the teacher in part two with. And it also has the um, straight blade, uh, straight razor shaver, um, who he kills the uh, the one that cuts everybody's hair on part three with. So let's go ahead and take a look at the box and everything. So you got the front, and there you go. See, good guys. You got the side. You got the side. And you got the back with the different faces and poses and weapons. And inside, so you got Chucky on the cover. And you got everything I was just telling you about. So, let's go ahead, um, take this out the box, and check out the articulation, check for any imperfections or anything like that. But first, cue the intro. Don't fuck with the chuck! y'all in here Chucky is out of the box and he is tiny um, not big figure I mean which you wouldn't expect it to be as big as like Jason or Michael or or anything like that but this is a pretty cool figure this is the the good guys dial head on it the one that it first appears with and I have him on the turntable because he um, he comes with a lot of accessories. So we'll go with do the head first. The heads first. So this is the one where he starts to look more human. Let's see. There we go. This is the one from part three when he falls in that fan. Or when he gets it cut off by that sickle in that amusement park ride. This is from Ride of Chucky. So it does come with all the heads, so it is pretty cool. He's got the yardstick that he beats the teacher with on part two. He's got a baseball bat. He's got an extra arm with a knife attached from part two. One of his hand gets ripped off. And this thing is pretty sharp. It's pretty pointy. He's got the hammer. That he kills Aunt Maggie with. He's got a big knife. He's got his voodoo knife. He's got a smaller knife. And he's got a gun. And he also comes with three extra hands. So you got two extra 
right hands and one extra left hand. All right, um, let's go ahead and get him off the turntable and we will check out for any imperfections, any anything wrong and check out the articulation. Just give me a few minutes. All right, y'all, here he is off the turntable. And one thing I did forget about the accessories, it does come with a good guy box that you can build and put him in with this head. But I always like the part where he gets his face chopped off. So I switched out the head with that one. So let's take a look at the figure. So, so far, so good. I mean, the design looks amazing. Everything looks good, no imperfections, no paint imperfections. I'm not counting the way the shoes are painted, how, I mean, they're tiny. There's gonna be some marks that aren't the same size and stuff like that, so I'm not counting that as imperfections, but at least this is the um, actual NECA one, because I remember whenever a Cajun Toy Review got his, it was a uh, bootleg one. And, man, you could tell just by the way the faces were. That was bootleg. So, everything looks good with the figure. There's nothing I see wrong with it. No imperfections or anything like that. So, let's check out the articulation. Chucky can look up. That, look down that much, sorry. Can look up that much. Now, it was hell switching out the heads. I mean, because it's just like a big peg right here and it was a little hard to get it to push through but I got it you see at the end of the video they have um, I have different pictures with uh, with him with different heads and I also have a picture with him with this on this was hard to get off so Got his head articulation. He's got. He can do this. Can do a full 360. His head can do a full 360. That way you can turn around and be like, "Hi, I'm Chucky." And he's got single jointed elbows. His hands. Let's see. Go down that much. Go up that much. I'm not sure if I showed off the single jointed. There we go. Chucky can split. He's got single jointed knees. Uh, he can't kick that much. <laughs> can't kick up that much. There we go. This one's just stiff. And his shoes are limited in motion his feet are limited in motion due to the pants but this is the NECA ultimate Chucky figure and to be honest this is pretty good I I give it a 10 out of 10 because I mean you got a lot of accessories that come with it I mean when you go over I guess they did it with like the four movies because it went from child's play to bride of chucky um the heads and the weapons and stuff like that so you look at that the amount of accessories the amount of heads the looks different looks that you can do with chucky no imperfections that i can see i mean i give this a 10 out of 10 it's it's great NECA knocked it out the park with that they usually do with all the monster figures especially the Ninja Turtle monster figures as well. So if you got this and you ended up with a bootleg one or if you ended up with a real one, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know which one you ended up with because I know there's a lot of them floating around there and I was kind of scared to uh, order this online so I'm glad I found it in a Target store and was able to look at it first. But you can search Two Old Cajuns Nerd Out. That's mine and Cajun Toy Reviews Podcast. Listen there, give us a uh, subscribe, and um, 
give us some ideas that you want to see, uh, want to listen to us uh, talk about on the podcast. If you search Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, and Twitter for the Cajun Toe Voter, you can find me on there. I am more active on Instagram as of right now. I need to get more active on all the other ones. You can message me on there. You can uh, let me know what you'd like to see. If you see it that I haven't done a brand or a figure that you want to see me review, let me know. But other than that, I want to thank y'all for watching. Thank y'all for subscribing. Just overall, thanks for everything. And? Thanks for coming out. <laughs>